anticipation that we're both old enough to remember this building was new. <laughs> the truth is, we've had a dry run and been pulling things out of the box. And we know that the mistaken generality is about what the, the research institutes are supposed to do. <laughs> but, and yet, there are some things that are commonplace things in the box uh, that have become intriguing simply because they've been hiding in the cornerstone for decades. So we'll begin with the government. So, Ricardo, you pull out. Mm -hmm. This is the announcement of the colleges and the divisions, so this will tell you what courses you could take. <laughs> Things like equitation and hippology. <laughs> this, this is the telephone directory for the University of Chicago. <laughs> Well, uh, I should have brought the today's uh, <laughs> telephone directory. It's two volumes <laughs> and much bigger. Depending on the wife. This is a road map. You could pick up at your at your mobile oil gas station <laughs> while someone. Uh, punch your gas, uh, check the oil level, build your radiator, uh, <clears throat> and clean your windshield. Uh, now we come to a bundle of timetables. <clears throat> this one from Capital Airlines. Uh, you could take a, get a reserved seat on their um, flight from Chicago's municipal airport to uh, Washington for, uh, let me see, it's um, $47.59. from TWA <laughs> offers you a flight to San Francisco for $113. And 75 cents. You could board at 8:40 a.m. Central Time, and after five stops, <laughs> arrive in San Francisco at 6:25 p.m. But along the way, a stewardess would serve you a hot meal. <laughs> uh, come directly here to Nose Avenue. This this is the architect's rendering of the research institute's building. Now, um, <clears throat> apparently taken by somebody standing in the middle of Stag Field uh, near the future site of Riggenstein Library. But with the West Stands, which were then still standing, made invisible. <laughs> now, the, the building cost $4.8 million. Uh, and as far as our accounting office can tell me, the money came entirely from unrestricted endowment and unrestricted reserves. There were no grants and no gifts. But after all, who would want his name attached to this? <laughs> <laughs> we should never underestimate the side benefits of having a real donor. <laughs> uh, the next. describes the three institutes to be housed in the building. The Institute for the Study of Metals, 
the <coughs> Institute for Nuclear Studies, and the Institute for Radiobiology and Biophysics. But in, in the document, the fields of research were abbreviated to nucleonics, metals, and biophysics. But nucleonics turned out to be a lot of non-nuclear things that I will come to in a few minutes. Metals was a lot of non-metallic things. <laughs> Liquid helium and uh, granular solids. <clears throat> and a lot of, of the best biophysics was initiated in the nucleonics part of the building. Uh, <coughs> let's see now. This is atomic research, the new frontier of industry. <laughs> It was a pitch to industrial sponsors who were asked to give $50,000 a year for the privilege of easy access to our classrooms, our faculty, and our seminars. But alas, a sponsor who sat mystified in a seminar, say, on uh, a new quantum number, uh, kind of held no closer to uh, the new frontier of industry. So this relic is all that remains of the institute. <laughs> <laughs> well, something, somebody stole it. It's a 1947 Buffalo nickel. <laughs> and I don't know what this is. <laughs> this is serious. <laughs> we got the resin. Uh, at any rate, that ends, that cleans out this probe of uh, artifacts.